my presentation will be different as I come from a different country. You're not right, uh, Thorbjörn, we're not the smallest country. We're just the smallest population. <laughs> yeah. Iceland is uh, quite big. It's 103,000 square kilometers. I think Denmark is 30, 31,000 or something. Uh, DOT is, uh, is, uh, is founded in 1986. The, the oldest domain is the domain of the University of Iceland. It's, it's registered in December 1986. So it's uh, one of the very, few st very first domains uh, registered uh, in the world. And uh, we have a, an employee, he's, he's our CTO, his name is Marius Olofsson. And he actually got the domain, dot is domain, handed out by, uh, by uh, the man, the founder, one of the founding fathers of, uh, of the internet, uh, John uh, Paul. What's his name? Yeah, right, right, right. So uh, we, we have that letter, I should have uh, placed a picture of it. We have that letter from, uh, that was also an email, uh, and I probably, you, you also have those emails, the very, very first emails, and they were, hello, uh, we are here, are you receiving us? <laughs> and uh, that was the handout of the domain as well. So uh, uh, I came to the registry in uh, 2007, and uh, from 2000 to 2007, it was owned by Vodafone, a telephone company, which was in fact a horrible situation. Um, uh, a big uh, telephone uh, operation owning a registry was uh, was something uh, very unhealthy, but the reason for that was that the, the state and the University of Iceland and some uh, some other uh, uh, state organizations sold the shares in the registry, so the registry came fully private in in the year 2000. But 93 percent percent of the shares uh, came in the hands of the, of Vodafone in Iceland. So in 2007, uh, uh, I and uh, uh, 13 other, other young, uh, well, we were young then, we were not young anymore. <laughs> 13 other uh, investors, we bought the shares from uh, Vodafone, and now the company is owned by 26 uh, people and small companies. Biggest share owner is myself with 29.5%. Uh, and that is unique. Uh, I haven't met anyone in any any uh, any any meetings lately that where I meet a CEO that owns the registry, and you might even think that this is really peculiar, and and I and I agree with you. It is peculiar. <laughs> it is unique. Since uh, the since the uh, new GTLTs came, the situation has changed, and I was. Uh, uh, like uh, my colleagues, I was really waiting for more competition and I was waiting for a, for a flood of domains coming into the market. That hasn't happened uh, neither in Iceland and as f far as I know, there's only one uh, new GTLT on the market and that's dot .bike. And we have a lot of, lot of uh, bike lists in, in Iceland now. It's really become a popular, not as popular as handball and football, but uh, the dot bike has uh, has uh, has uh, around 3,000 domains in Iceland, which is quite a quite a, quite in that very very small market. We sell every and every single domain for 29.90, and you might think that as a that is a high price, but it used to be much much higher. This is the this was the uh, the situation when we came in. It was as a uh, year 2006 in in, in the in the autumn. We had uh, well, the registry, ESNIC, had 15,000 domains, and every single domain costed 8990 the first year. We had a big sign up fee and, uh, and, uh, and renewal fee of 5990. So, uh, no wonder they were not selling uh, very many domains. Actually, the, uh, the Vodafone thought that domains would not, this would be the roof back then in 2006 and I remember a meeting where uh, where the uh, where the uh, uh, the foreman of the company of the, of the board he said we are now reaching 15,000 domains that's not going to get any more let's sell it <laughs> and uh, so uh, in 2007 uh, 
the new board lifted almost uh, almost all hindrances. So uh, and uh, sign up fee was of course first to to go. And uh, strangely enough, you couldn't pay with a credit card until in 2007. So uh, actually, we didn't have to do much to get the domain uh, gr growth starting. And now, 2015, we have, uh, after having an annual growth of uh, about 15% for nine years, we only have 55,500 domains, and that's very, very, very little in comparison with, uh, with other domains. And especially, it's very little when you think of what a, what a beautiful domain it is. It is the dot is. Uh, I'm not. Go I'm not going to talk about the domain statistics that you can uh, you, you can look it up on on our website. It's isnic.is, of course. Uh, I want to talk about how we uh, see the marketing of the domain today. It is. Uh, it's been a puzzle to marketing a, do a, a domain because it's it's not, not not something that you can just hand out and say here you have your domain, but you have to think of it yourself. You have to produce it. So we are only. Uh, this is awareness uh, marketing, more or less. And it was only uh, last, uh, was in, in, in the autumn, that uh, I was getting kind of bored in, 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 a, in my job. I was just, uh, can be honest about that. So uh, there was this American, he came actually sailing to Iceland with his family. And, uh, and I just grabbed the opportunity and I said, uh, let's just do our marketing through the sailing. We, we need to have some fun at it, because if we don't have fun at our job, we're not going to succeed. So what we did, we, uh, we, uh, we uh, sponsored a, a sailing family, and, uh, which is uh, now, uh, now in, uh, I think they're now in uh, Holland, going to, to France, or they're probably yet, uh, now in France, yes. But, uh, and, 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 and they are taking part in all those sailing events, and sending us uh, pictures, uh, doing this with Twitter and, uh, and Facebook, of course. And uh, the reason why I, I, I write here the new enemies turned out to be good is that uh, when, uh, when Facebook was, uh, was really, really getting, getting uh, into the skies, we thought, this is it. The, the, we are not going to sell any more domains. Who's going to need a domain? Everybody has a page. And then it turned slowly, and it, uh, and it's really showing, up, uh, showing us uh, results in this year that uh, our Facebook page is becoming the, the number one drive to our, to our site where people register domains. So uh, uh, Facebook is actually helping us with uh, relative cheap marketing of the domain. And uh, who would have thought that? Yeah, this is our slogan, what is your internet ID? The, the market in Iceland is so small that, that to be able to co to uh, to cope up with uh, with the evolution and, and all the uh, all the things that we must do, we need to sell more domains uh, uh, outside Iceland. This has we've been struggling with that because we don't have this uh, uh, conventional registry registrar model, and actually. Uh, uh, in, within the company, uh, and Marius Olofsson, our CTO, is fully against it. He said, what do we need the registry registrar model? Why not uh, just keep on with direct registrations? So this is still what we are doing, and there's no plan of changing this. Uh, but we are struggling getting people to our side and, uh, and, uh, and registering a .is domain. Of all, we have about 25% uh, uh, of our total uh, registrations are abroad. 12% of them are in the, in the States. But uh, this is uh, part of our crew. It's called the Coconuts. And of course, they have coconuts.is. And uh, just recently, they, they sent me uh, this video that they made in, uh, in uh, Amsterdam. They were trying to go to the boat, and they forgot their cards. And uh, how do I turn it on? OK. Now, oh, well, yeah, I see. <laughs> I thought this was going to play automatically. Oh. 
it's a pity because it's a really really nice really nice uh, video what what does the technician say but anyway we've seen uh, we've started to see that 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 registrations are now coming in uh, after a after the 2013 and 2014, we thought that that uh, that this was really going to go downhill. And like uh, Lisa was saying, I was also expecting uh, that the growth rate would would eventually go to zero, and we would have a decline after that. But luckily, that hasn't happened. And uh, now we are uh, in this year about seven or eight percent. It's of course a very li low number when, we, when you only have 55,000 domains, you only have 5,000 new ones in a, at a year. Uh, but still, I'm happy that, that we are growing and selling every single domain 29.90. The registrars in the States, they are selling uh, .is domains up to $100, so they are ma even making more money of, out of it uh, as we are. But too bad, I couldn't show you the, uh, the, the coconuts video, but I'll do it afterwards uh, uh, directly from YouTube, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Jens Peter. I hope you haven't seen any increasing demands from the Middle East for your top level. Nah, yeah, well, okay, yeah, good, you mentioned it. I could, <laughs> uh, of course, tell you about it. That was a year ago. ISIS, uh, of course, they. Uh, well, not of course, but uh, sadly, they did register uh, two domains, Khalifa.is and, and uh, Khalifa with an H in the end, dot is. And uh, this got, uh, we got to know about it on Twitter, and this was all over the media. And uh, for good or for bad, uh, the saying says that uh, bad publicity is, is better than, than none, but this one was really bad, and it has just hurt us, and we are... We're really, really uh, frustrated about this connection. And uh, actually, I, I, I would like to do like the French. Uh, we talk about the dash, yeah. not the ISIS, or, and definitely not is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you.